What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's video, we have to talk about some interesting things. As you guys know, for the S&P 500 specifically, we closed above a major resistance that we have not been able to do for over a year. And this is pretty big. You know, we got to take our small wins, you know, when we get them, because we've been seeing nothing but bear market and nothing but losses for over a year now. So this is a pretty big win in my book. And we do have to talk about this, as you can see on the S&P 500, the first time we've closed above a major resistance in over a year now, honestly. So the fact that this is happening right now is, is shocking to me, very much so shocking to me. And we do need to talk about that. But it's not only this that we need to look at here. A lot of these cryptocurrencies are seeing some very interesting things as well, which we have to look at. XRP had a uh, kind of a descending fractal here, forming here, a little bit of a bottom support. We've been kind of hanging on to this, the four hour support here, kind of bouncing off of it here and there. So this is something that we also have to look at, kind of figure out what the heck is going on with that. And then we also have to look at Ethereum and Bitcoin and see what exactly we're seeing here. We saw some sort of, uh, you know, kind of bear, uh, what is it, a bull trap right now where we kind of saw the prices swing up and then immediately correct right back down here. Same thing with Ethereum, kind of a bull trap here. Where we broke through the top resistance and then swung all the way right back down to retest bottom support. We seem to be hugging the four hour supports on most all of these cryptocurrencies uh, over the past couple of hours here. So we do need to talk about what exactly is going on as well as where we kind of predict or see these markets moving to because we're definitely in some peculiar times here. Markets will open up on the S&P in about 15 minutes at 9.30 a.m. and then we'll kind of see where this goes. Goes. But for the meantime, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So some very interesting things, and I posted a video yesterday saying uh, breakout this week. And honestly, I do believe that we are going to see some sort of movement this week specifically. Uh, whether that means we break out uh, or break up or we break down is uh, different, but we're definitely going to be breaking out. We're definitely going to see some big either injection or removal of volume from the market at a fairly rapid pace, I would think, and that will cause markets to either swing upwards or swing downwards here. Now, I'm not really sure where to start. We could look at XRP for right now. I've been pretty long-term bullish on XRP, and honestly, XRP seems to look the best right now in regards to the four hour. Like if I jump to Ethereum here, it doesn't look terrible. Honestly, none of these look terrible here. Bitcoin's just bouncing off its bottom support uh, off it what is this? The price floor, kind of this, you know, you can see right here, this uh, price floor, as well as the moving average on the four hour here. But you can see we are kind of holding on and we're not doing too bad here. If I swing a little bit further out, you can see we did just recently have a bullish cross on the moving averages, which is definitely an exciting time. And we're also trending at about 52. So we are uh, creating space and room for us to continue to swing up higher if that allows us to. And hopefully it does here. Now you can see we did recently over the past couple of days or I think I'd say a couple weeks now we've broken outside a major uh, descending triangle you can see this is kind of history repeating itself with XRP specifically it comes in three waves we typically have the bear market then there's this uncertainty period and then there's a bull market here you can see one two and three and ideally the fact that we're outside of the downtrend here means we're entering bull market or sorry consolidation market you can see this is one this is two and then this is three and what i mean by this specifically is we have over a year of downtrend followed by consolidation followed by a bullish market to the upside here so moving a step further here you can see the period of uncertainty which is this where we trade outside the downtrend, but before the breakout here to the upside, we see a lot of this movement. Now, what usually happens within this uncertainty period as I zoom in is we break out and we come to retest the moving average, the top resistance here, and we start to kind of interact, intertwine within the moving average. And this lasts a long time. There was a long history with this from breakout to bull market was almost a year of this consolidation, which is where I expect to see the markets happen right now. So if we take this kind of this this history right here and we apply it to where the breakout is now, this is where I, ex I expect to see the same patterns move here. This is why I expect to see the same kind of uh, the same kind of break. So I'll, if I just take this for right now, we take this pattern and I move it here, you can kind of see it's kind of the same thing that I expect to see happen over the next couple uh, coming weeks or coming months, to be honest with you. I do expect to see targets move us up to this level here, which is in between, you know, 70 cents, maybe 50 cents. And there will be times where we could break up to 97 cents here, but I'm kind of taking history and placing it on now. And this is where I expect to see the markets move to in this kind of market. We've seen this back in 2017, 2018. This was 
was this is a little earlier, 2020 specifically here, but we see the same period on Ethereum and, and Bitcoin, which I can show you later. But this is kind of the period that I'm seeing where we've left now the bear market of over a year now. Markets are starting to consolidate. You know, we're starting to see some healthier movements within the economy overall. I know some people might differ on that, but I think it's much better than where we have been uh, for, you know, a very long time now. Even though gas is moving up and, you know, certain things like eggs and stuff is moving up. Overall, inflation is going down, and that's key, and we should start to see a little more consolidation and some bullish movements here, and we could make a little bit of money in this. So I do expect to see targets. Exactly what this is graphing is exactly what I predict. Movements up to retest moving average and, event and eventually trend into here. And how long could this take? Well, it's about a year, maybe six months to eight months here. It's it's literally identical with the prediction that we had here. So this is this is what we're looking for. This is the movement that we're going to—and I can leave it on here, honestly, for uh, future videos videos, but this is the exact target that I expect to see the prices swing us up to, a movement up to here slowly but surely. So this is why this was a good opportunity to buy in. Not the last time we'll be there, but it's definitely a good opportunity to uh, take advantage of this, and that's what we've done. Obviously, I do all of my trades on um, on Bit, uh, BidFi. For those that don't know, this is what BidYard has changed their name into. Link is down in the description, but BidFi is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use where you can buy long, sell short, create stop losses, take profits, you know. Uh, you can leverage trade, you can use on margin, you can uh, do pretty much everything most leveraging websites can offer, uh, except for the fact that they offer XRP, which not many exchanges do. Not many exchanges offer XRP. Bit, BidFi or BitYard is, you know, one of the few, the very few that do. And I've been using them for over two years with no problems. The best part is they offer a demo account, which allows you to trade with up to a hundred thousand. It starts with a hundred thousand dollars in monopoly money to test your skills. And if you get comfortable, then you could switch to uh, trading real crypto. But it's entirely up to you. It's completely free. Link is down in the description. Make sure to sign up. With that being said, moving on from XRP and uh, BidFi onto these other cryptos, Ethereum, and so on and so forth, we've been tracking kind of this. Uh, symmetrical triangle on Ethereum for quite some time now, and you can kind of see how it's playing out. Now, obviously, the four hour isn't something I like to trade as it is very aggressive. So I typically use the daily and the weekly, but you could see clear as day here. This is clearly filling in the gap, lower highs and higher lows as we slowly fill this in, which tends to break kind of around the third, which is in about three days, maybe four days. And then we could see potentially lift off or break down. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but we have to let this play out. Same thing with Bitcoin here. I can't really draw the best like uptrend here on on Bitcoin. I was trying to find something similar to Ethereum here, but I don't really see it. Like this is definitely not it. I mean, could we move it lower? Of course, but I'm not sure. This is kind of how I like it, like this, kind of these symmetrical tri uh, ascending triangles here. And now we've kind of breaking, uh, broken out and fallen back down to bottom support. So things are a little wonky with Bitcoin. That's why I haven't really been trading Bitcoin or making trades on Bitcoin. It's just a little too confusing for me. And I'm sticking with XRP and Ethereum for that reason. Now, as for the S&P, this is what has me most intrigued with the crazy markets that are moving here. As you guys can see, we started this movement to the downside since January 3rd. And since then, we've been continuously correcting to the downside here. So hopefully this um, will end, um, you know, as we just broke through here. This is the first time. And hopefully this won't cause uh, It's very possible. But hopefully it won't, we won't do something like this. I mean, it would be interesting because we could follow it clear as day. And it is a possibility to throw that in there, but I just don't, I don't see it happening here. This is an aggressive play to break through this here. Um, so I can maybe see us hit resistance and then kind of continue this. And this would still be the higher low reversal pattern that we needed. Uh, but things are still a little bit up in the air. I mean, I took a risk. I put more money into the S&P 500 since we've confirmed the weekly. This is what you know I needed. So in case this was the bottom, that's why I bought in. And I do expect to see markets hopefully slowly bring, uh, branch to the upside. And who knows, now that we're in a new market here, maybe we will break above it. I don't know. You can see we broke above it, you know, right here at about 60. And here we are at 55, almost retesting the same level here. So it's very possible that we could break through this. It is very possible that we could break through that, but I don't know. But with that being said, uh, that's it for today's video. Smash the like button, turn the post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.